All right, so I've got it wired up. Um, you can see what I did. I just took the diodes and stuffed them in the holes, and I added a resistor. Um, I didn't have a 100-ohm resistor, unfortunately. Uh, it needed to be a 100-ohm at 2 watts. Uh, closest thing I could find off an old TV board that I scavenged uh, was a 220 ohm. Uh, looks like probably a 3 watt resistor. Um, but that's good because it doesn't get near as hot. I can put my finger on it. It's, it's a little warm but not bad. Um, but I probably will come back in the, in the future with a 100 ohm because it's going to be brighter. This isn't too bad really. But just good enough to pass inspection, I suppose. Um, but uh, yeah, so if you um, ever want to rig up something like this, um, you're going to have to do some calculations. This is, you know, cars are 12 volts. And um, the voltage across all of these diodes that are in parallel is about 0.7 volts. So you have to calculate uh, your currents based on that voltage. And um, 20, 15 to 20 milliamps would be ideal. I'm probably running about 10 milliamps or less. I haven't actually calculated. I think it's probably around 10 milliamps. And uh, But these are super bright. And, and even at that current, they're pretty good. But I think it would be quite a bit more if I had a 100 ohm resistor there. Uh, closer to 20 milliamps. And um, the number of diodes makes a difference, right? Because you're going to divide that current. Um, it's basically 12 volts divided by 220. Um, and then that divided by however many diodes. And so um, divided by 7. Uh, that's why 3 diodes, um, they were pulling too much current. If I hadn't put 9 diodes in like the original, probably would have been okay. But... Um, didn't think about it, just slapped it in there just because I was in a hurry and to get the car inspected. So um, I'll put this in the car and then I'll take a video to see how it looks uh, lit up in the car. That's it.